what people don't realize is that the ancient Egyptian race controversy is not a minority thing within Egyptologists where they only agree that the ancient Egyptians were one race. Instead, it's a plurality of ideas. There's only three that are respected. One is there was majority black people and a minority Asian, or there was a majority Asian and a minority native African, or there was about 50-50. Those are about the three that are respected. The idea of the ancient Egyptians being European has been dismissed too many times. And the idea that the ancient Egyptians did not have a minority from any other group has been dismissed even by so-called Afrocentrists because we, we all know that they knew about the other people The ancient Egyptians remain remarkable, a remarkable people historically. We still don't know entirely what their origins were, but presumably there were people who were indigenous to Africa and maybe there were combinations as the Egyptians that we know from the Old Kingdom were probably combined peoples coming from different parts of Africa as well as the Near East so the blood was slightly mingled but it made up for a very definitive kind of cultural entity. There's an explanation. No, they were dark skinned but, but they were not, not black. But they are not negro mm. because look at the, the, the lips of the the Negroes like that and the nose like this. It's not really the Egyptian uh, origin at all. It's mm. different, completely different. Mm. Our tour guide lends her opinion on the debate of race. We are African, we are black. Did this. And they said that they got all their knowledge from the Egyptians. Now, when did we come up with the idea that the Greeks created everything from scratch? Well, believe it or not, it happened in the 18th and 19th century. And it's an unfortunate fact of life that Romanticism, which has many great things about it, also has a dark side, which has to do with racism. And in the 18th and 19th century, it was decided that it was just not appropriate for all this knowledge to come from an African country. Where would that knowledge... Counting how many uh, slaves having. And this was like a fight. And if ancient Egyptian lose a fight, ancient Egyptian was the slaves, you know? You can see, the, you can see that they're African. Yeah. Look, ancient Egyptian was, yeah, we have one uh, in Beirut, 25 dynasty, was black pharaoh, okay? But all the pharaoh was normal, white, brown, like, not was actually darker like black. And you can see here the face and the face of ancient Egyptian here. You can like look here and here is no half much in nothing. In the lips, in the nose, in the hair, in everything, not similar. And also you can see here in, in ancient Egyptian have long hair. Okay, African no have uh, nice hair to be like longer like in ancient Egyptian too. You can see here the hair of African and the hair of ancient Egyptian. No have no match in anything. Actually, clearly the hair on the Nubian is just a short version of the Egyptian hair. As you can see, it's got the same knots, and I just zoomed into the same image that he showed. Secondly. What about the Middle Eastern people? Why didn't they depict themselves like that, as we're going to see? Also, notice that the ancient Egyptians' nose and mouth don't go beyond each other. They're at the same area. This is typical African facial features. Are these guys, would these be Jewish people here with the, with the curls? No, this is Asian. How can you tell that these ones are Asian? Because of the eyes? Uh, it's looking like Iraq like Syrian, mm. and today is looking same. You can see Syrian have big beer, uh, Iraq have big, big beer. So like near East Asia. Yeah. Well, this smashes his theory because if modern Egyptians are ancient Egyptians, why didn't they have big beards? Because people in Egypt today can, can grow big beards and they are related to the people in the Middle East. Because 
Now, Dr. Hawass just yesterday spoke about the three teams that re did uh, reconstruction. All came out with different faces, features, and this means what? I don't trust that. I'm a, I'm a scientist. What, how come uh, three different groups came up with another uh, diff totally different features? So it's just biased, as Dr. Ikram just mentioned. OK. Anyhow, I think this was the French. Uh, uh, and of course, there is the Egyptologist, the Ray Egyptologist, when they're asked about race, they just say, we don't believe in race, which they do. They do DNA tests, and then they come back and say, this race is that race, and this race is that race. So they must care about race. So as we seen, there's multiple views on ancient Egypt, even amongst the Egyptologists themselves. And a lot of them actually believe that the ancient Egyptians were black with a smidge of Asians in there. This is why I don't accept this whole, oh, you're Afrocentrist. No, I just don't live in Egypt where they have to tell you that the ancient Egyptians are native to the land in order for you to care about it. And I don't live in Europe where they tell you that they're white in order for you to care about it. The only people they don't lie to is black people. They're like, ah, screw it. Do you ever notice if you go on YouTube and you just write ancient Egyptians are white, no one's debating them. You write ancient Egyptians are Middle Easterners, no one's debating them. The only people getting debated are the black people. And of course, this isn't every Egyptologist because most Egyptologists have never even been on video, but I'm not going to sit here and read a hundred Egyptologists' opinions. 